To get started with the annual and monthly budget, I recommend reading the easy-to-follow instructions that will guide you through the spreadsheet. In the Dashboard tab, view your year at a glance as you enter information from month to month. Go to the Jan tab. This is where you will enter all your setup information, even if you start budgeting on a different month. Select your country. Enter your rollover by adding up your bank account balances and cash. For January, enter the same amount for projected and actual. Enter all the categories that you will need to start budgeting. By default, many categories are entered for you, but you can modify them to your liking. If you want to track your savings, go to the savings tracker and enter your previous account balances. Now that you are done with the setup, it is time to start budgeting. For this example, I will start budgeting in March. The tab has automatically updated with the information I entered in the Jan tab. Now, enter your projected income by entering the date and the projected amount. Then, enter your projected expenses, bills, debt, and savings. Keep an eye on the cash flow summary to make sure you don't go over budget. You can try different scenarios by changing your expenses and keeping an eye on the remaining row in the cash flow summary. This completes the projected part of your budget. Now, it's time to enter your actual information. Scroll right to the transaction tracker. Enter all the transactions you have made during the month. This will auto-populate the actual columns in the budget. You can see where your money is going in the expense breakdown at the right. Now that you have entered your transactions, you get to see where your money is actually going and see if your projections were correct. If you have made profit on your savings and investments, add them under interest plus or minus. To update the bills calendar, in the bills and debt sections, enter the day due. This should be only the day and number and not an actual date. Click the checkbox to send it to the calendar. Go to the Bills Calendar tab. Here you can see all your bills and when they are due. You can check them off as you pay them. If you wish to print this calendar, go to File, then Print. Choose Landscape and under Scale, Fit to Page. As you enter information from month to month, refer back to the Dashboard tab to get an overview of your finances. Go to the Debt Snowball tab. For the starting date, choose today or a past date. The spreadsheet will not work properly if you enter a future date as it calculates the payments you need to make in the present. Enter all the information in the debt information table. The day due will only serve as a reminder and is not relevant to the calculations. If your interest is 0%, enter it as 0.00001, that is four zeros before the one. The spreadsheet automatically sorts your debts in the debt summary. The last column at the right, Payment This Month, lets you see the payments you will need to make this month. You can view your total monthly payments at the top to find out if you have any room in your budget to add an extra amount to pay off your debt faster. Enter this amount in additional monthly contribution. Here you can see how many months are left to pay down your debt. At the right of the spreadsheet, you can view the detailed payment schedule. As the months go by, the amounts will be crossed off and the payment this month will be automatically adjusted. If you have an amount you would like to add to a certain month, enter it under the amount plus or minus column. This amount will go directly to the smallest debt first. Go to the Savings Planner tab. Start entering all the things that you wish to save for. Enter the name, start date, goal date, and savings goal. In the tables at the bottom, enter the dates when you would like to make contributions. Then, enter the contributions you would like to make for those dates. If you would like to make equal contributions, use the months left cell to determine the number of payments you need to make and use the recommended contribution as an equal payment for the remaining months. When a payment is made, click the checkbox and the amount of that contribution will be added to saved so far. It will also update the remaining and percentage saved cells. Go to the Subscriptions tab. You can change the categories as needed here. For every subscription you have, enter the description, the category it should fall in, and the amount. 
When you enter the billing cycle, the spreadsheet will automatically divide the amount into monthly amounts. Enter the due date and renewal date for future reference. That's it for the tutorial. Have fun budgeting!